Okay, welcome everybody to uh, uh, this series of uh, uh, radio uh, of, of videos. And today, uh, as we will uh, start from the anterior teeth, and you know that when we are using the uh, sensors inside the oral cavity, there are two types of sensors. It, uh, the first one is uh, this one, which is the direct type and I'm using here size 0 or size 1, which is the small size, which I feel that it is more uh, comfortable to use inside the oral cavity than the, than the bigger one. Uh, however, the, uh, uh, the field that it covers is limited, so you have to take more than one, one radiograph. But in Indo, I think that this is uh, sufficient. The other type, which is the uh, film, the analog film, and uh, this is similar to uh, uh, the PSP in terms of size and thickness. And this is also the small size or size 1. You can use size 2 if the space allows. And I would also advocate the use of uh, size uh, uh, one or the small size uh, so that if you are working on a single uh, uh, on a single tooth that is um, um, uh, which is the case in endodontic radiographs uh, these tend to be thick and they lack flexibility uh, those are thin and more, uh, you know, accepted by the patient. However, these and these you will need, uh, I mean the PSP, you will be needing a scanner to process the images. These will be directed, uh, directly connected to, through uh, a USB to a computer and the image will be uh, uh, processed readily, uh, no delays. And if you can go back, uh, uh, there I have made videos to show you the uh, difference between the PSP plates and the direct sensors uh, in terms, I mean, of the advanced, uh, but the pros and cons of each of these. So uh, let us start with the central incisors, and we will start with the uh, uh, with, without the use of a, a sensor holder. Uh, that is what we call the uh, the angle bisecting technique. In the angle bisecting technique, it is easier to place because you are not going to use those bulky uh, um, sensor holders. Uh, however, there is a great chance of concut elongation and shortening of the image because you have to have a uh, to calculate the image uh, or to calculate the angulation of the uh, of the of the x-ray beam so there is a chance of uh, uh, shortening shortening uh, or elongation of the images however uh, from uh, the uh, what we have seen uh, there is always i would say 95% of cases that the images will appear longer and you will fail to uh, cut uh, to capture the apex of the tooth okay so if you're working on a, an upper central incisor, of course your femur or file is extending from the excess opening, and uh, uh, here you are going uh, to place the uh, rubber dam. And uh, for purposes of demonstration, I'm uh, I'm not going to place the rubber dam. I will just place the uh, clamp, which is actually the the uh, the uh, part that. Uh, 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 makes the makes taking the radiograph difficult. Okay, suppose you are working on the upper central incisor. What you do here is that you are going to place the uh, sensor behind the uh, uh, tooth. See, the the problem here is that there is an interference between the uh, sensor and the um, uh, clamp. So, uh, w w uh, uh, see, most of the cases it happens as such. The sensor is extended too much uh, uh, down uh, uh, 
and then he, he you will miss the apex definitely so what <clears throat> excuse me what do you, what do you do here first of all you try to extend the uh, sensor as far as it can go inside the oral cavity i'll i'll just flip this over see you ex you you extend it as far as it goes in inside the oral cavity here you will have a chance of you know bringing the uh, uh, upper part of the sensor closer to the apex so extend it back as much as you can sometimes the uh, pellet does not allow the uh, extending inside the inside the oral cavity so what would you do you make it slanted you slant you know and instead of doing it as such you make it slanted and then you extend it backwards so that you will ensure only two millimeters of uh, 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 of the uh, free margin of the sensor will be extending from the uh, below the incisal margin then you will instruct your patient to hold or support the sensor from inside. Okay? Now, here is the, uh, the, the tricky part. Now, you know that inside the oral cavity, you, you are going to put a sleeve on this, the, the, the um, uh, infection control barrier. So this tends or makes this um, sensor more slippery. Okay. So during the expo during the one the placement it slides uh, of the uh, tooth with the presence of the clamp saliva and this slippery um, uh, cover so i would advise here placing a cutter roll in between the exposure side of the sensor and the uh, on the posterior surface or the palatal surface of the Tooth. So the condition or the situation will be as such. See? This is the way. What the cutter roll has done, actually, three things. One, it will ease the uh, placement of this uh, um, uh, thick uh, kind of irritating uh, sensor on the pellet. So it will be like a cushion in between the uh, by, between the pellet and the sensor. One, two, it will stabilize because this is supposedly dry. Even if it gets wet, uh, even it gets wet, uh, uh, the uh, uh, it will uh, prevent the slippage of the uh, sensor with its disposable cover from the pellet. This is two. And three, if you notice that uh, placing this cutting roll uh, in between the tooth and the, uh, and the sensor, it will decrease, <clears throat> decrease the angle or the slanting of the, uh, of the uh, sensor and the tooth. So this is, this is the case where we, without a cutter roll, right? We are trying to extend it as much as we can posteriorly, hoping that we will get the apex. But if you put a cutter roll in between, okay, and then you push it backwards so that you will get uh, this, uh, this relationship, okay? And then what happens is that, see? and you instruct your patient to support the film. Now the slanting has been reduced, why? Because you have, you have brought the, uh, instead of this relationship, you will, you will put this and then it will, this, assume this, instead of, you know, this type of inclination, inclination without the um, cutter roll, it will go into this direction. This will help us in directing the beam. If you are going to direct the beam, then what you do here is that you, first, just like we agreed earlier in the previous videos, what you will do first, just let me fix this. What you will do first is that you are going to place the, uh, or direct your cone perpendicular on the tooth, and here you will get an elongated image. 
Next, you will look inside the oral cavity and you will place or you will direct the beam perpendicular on the sensor. And here you will have a short image and then you will direct your beam midway so that you will direct the beam perpendicular on the angle uh, of the on the bisector between the angle of the tooth and the angle of the of the plane of the uh, uh, the, uh, the plane of the tooth and the plane of the uh, of the sensor so if you place if you place a cutter roll what you what you're going to do is that you will uh, uh, make the sensor more or less parallel with the uh, with the uh, tooth okay so instead of you know extreme perpendicular on tooth extreme perpendicular on the sensor you will have a, a, a better chance of directing the beam more or less perpendicular on the uh, bisector this will reduce the chances of uh, a shortened or elongated image. Most of the cases, what I have noticed is that we direct the meme, uh, 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 you know, uh, in a, we don't increase the angle, we decrease the angle which will uh, elongate the image. So, to recap, first of all, try to extend the uh, uh, sensor as much as it can go uh, in a posterior direction to capture the MX, the, the apex of the tooth. Second, to avoid slippage and to reduce the angle and to uh, uh, lessen the irritation of the, uh, of the uh, sensor to the patient, you place a cutter roll in between the sensor and the uh, 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 tooth. Okay, if it interferes with the placement <coughs> uh, of the uh, or the um, uh, if it interferes with the placement of the uh, reamer, then you can just take it away from the uh, you know. If suppose I'm working on this central, you can place it in this way. Okay, there will be no interference between the reamer, the extending from the access opening and the tooth, and see the direction of the. Uh, uh, of the uh, 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 sensor with the tooth and it's, uh, 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 compare it with this one. See, this is almost flat, but when you place the sensor, uh, uh, if, you, if you place the cutter roll, you will decrease this angle, which will, ho which will uh, <coughs> uh, uh, improve the image quality.